Hello to anybody and everybody. I'm Aaron Yeager, and yes, I finally put up a face cam. Can you believe it? Not that I really have anyone that's, no, that's watching, but anyways, I'm playing Black Rose, and it's on Steam. It's free on Steam, if I remember right. I'm pretty sure it's free on Steam, but this is the updated version. So, story mode or time mode? Uh, let's go story mode. So apparently the uh, the original version of this was just okay. It, oh, it just starts right away. Okay. Uh, apparently the original version of this you uh, you um it's quick. The original version of this was much faster. Like in and out. You go in, you do one thing, you get out, and the game's over. But. I'm, this is the updated version. Pain and suffering has warped their bodies. Eee. What, were they in a car accident? <laughs> no, that's awful. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Uh, so this is the updated version where I guess there's more to it. And that's a uh, not real. Fi that's not a real fireplace. That's not a real fireplace at all. That's not real at all. Oh my gosh. Uh, I guess they were pretty serious about keeping this door shut. I wonder if the keys are around here somewhere. Probably. But then again, maybe not. Ugh. Sorry. I First off, I gotta apologize because you're probably seeing the glare from my screen and my glasses. But uh. I kind of need them because it hurts my eyes if I if I don't use them. Also, my nose is stuffed, so I'm probably gonna sound a little a little uh, weird. But doesn't mean I'm not gonna play. I'm obviously gonna because I'm doing it right now. <clears throat> um, okay. Anything under the stairs? Alrighty. Alrighty. Let's go up, 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 up. Oh, these windows are fucking dirty. Is someone else? What's with the note? What's with the paper? Does he like, he hears something and then he writes it down and holds it up to himself and he reads it. He reads it back to himself and is like, <gasps> someone else is here. <coughs> okay, I might be a little sick, a little sick, but I'm still going. Who's in here? This door has warped pretty badly. I don't think I'd be able to get it open. One second. Ah, <laughs> uh, pardon me. And uh, an empty room. Okay. I don't want to jump to conclusions here, but... I'm guessing that the wallpaper here... Just like the... Oh main hall just like the wallpaper from Resident Evil 1 was inspired by the shining that's just my guess because it looks similar it looks similar boss says not to go near Myrtle's coffin why won't the gravedigger bury it anyways bury it's a weird word bury bury it's not like what boss says is true I mean the dead can't walk wow can't really talk can they? I don't know. I heard someone laughing. Not doesn't mean it was a dead person, but if that's the only person that was here, I mean, I'm here, so I guess other people must be here, right? It's jammed, but I might be able to force it open. I would need to ram it a couple times. Press and hold space. Oh, I'm winding up. Ha -ha. Ha -ha. Just ram your face into it like... Ha -ha. <laughs> yeah, got it. Okay, what? Oh, right. Uh, there's a baby monitor here. Strange. Doctor Strange. I guess I'm taking it. I mean, I would have just left it, probably. It's not my property, but... It's not my property. I wouldn't have taken it. I don't know. No. How about no? Who was that? Doesn't matter who it was. Does not matter who it was. You don't... Oh my god, no. Downstairs. There's two ways I can go. This way, or this way. 
let's go this way. I don't think I... Yeah, I did go this way. There's nothing really... Here. I'm down here. What you want, what you want. What you really, really want. So, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. <gasps> no! <laughs> no! No! You hear a voice? Okay. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why this is a big nope. You're in a house by yourself, apparently. A voice on a baby monitor tells you to go downstairs in a cracky, like, voice in a dry voice it's dark you only have a flashlight you found a note saying the dead can't talk can they oh this is all kinds of nope this is all fucking kinds of no a note down here inconspicuously he r i f e 4 s don't Ten zero K he are in the E four S. What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck? I'm just kidding. Her eyes don't look her in the eyes. Got it. I never do anyways. <laughs> uh just kidding. The other baby monitor is down here. This is weird. I'm not sure I want to be here anymore. Something feels wrong. Something feels very wrong. Something feels very wrong. Can I grab the baby monitor? Let me just take that from you. Uh, I don't know what that is, but it's pretty funny. Alright. Guess I'm gonna leave now. In your fucking dreams, bitch. What's going on? Just, what's going on? I don't know, what is going on? I'm gonna close this. Uh, go upstairs. Ah, Moaning Myrtle, you bitch. Oh, Moaning Myrtle, you absolute bitch. Oh my God. Can I go in here? Yes, I can. Oh shit, something's going on. Oh, she's following me. Okay, she disappeared. She disappeared. She's not supposed to do that. She's not supposed to do that, I don't think. Even, oh man, I saw, uh. So much nope. This is so much nope. Oh, I backed myself into a corner. Fuck me, I'm gonna leave before she gets, she gets here. Leave me alone, bitch! Better not be sitting be in here still. Oh, come on, leave me alone. Ah. Ha! Huh. Alright. Alright. Why can't I open you? Hmm. I bet you're wondering why I've gathered you all here today. Because there's a crazy bitch here that needs to go. You probably, you've all probably seen her. She's got those white glowing eyes, mouth ajar. They stitched him back together. Excellent, excellent. That's always the best way to do it. Stitch him back together. Um, what was it? What was I saying? Oh yeah, crazy bitch needs to go. <clears throat> Maybe you've seen her around. She, uh, she's got white glowing eyes, slack jawed, moaning Myrtle is her name. Uh, do I go back down here? You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go back down here. Bitch, you down here? Back in your coffin? Yeah. Oh, she's still out. Oh, she's still out and about. Does it still say the same thing? Her eyes don't look her in the eyes. Yeah, yeah. I found... Oh, am I... Did I get lost, really? Okay, there we go. She's still out and about. Uh, but there's a key. 
There's a shiny gold key in the coffin. Okay. And what does that mean to me? What does that mean to me? Oh! oh ah! Ah! Okay. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. That's it. Mm-hmm. She appeared right in front of me. That's nice. Whew. <sighs> Okay, leave me alone. Leave me alone. You can leave me alone now. Any minute. Any minute now, you can leave me alone. It seems like I always go to this room. You can leave me alone now. Oh, I gotta go back up this way where she is. Leave me alone, please. Oh, I can't. Fuck. I always back myself into corners. Uh. No, okay. All right. All right, I got a key. I got a key. I got a key to something. Uh, door's locked. It wasn't earlier. That's right, it wasn't earlier. Not until I let the bitch out. Moaning Myrtle. I'm gonna. Her name's. Yeah, I'm gonna call her Moaning Myrtle. Moaning Myrtle. T time has not been kind to you. What about you? How about? The key was to the chest. Wow. The only way to keep Moaning Myrtle in her coffin for good is to lock it. I thought I had locked it before, but someone else must have unlocked it. Either that or the lid was forced open. So, I guess locking it is not the way to keep her in for good because you clearly tried it and it didn't work. There's a key here, a key here labeled Myrtle in the note. Oh, the note's what I just said. So I gotta go back- oh my god, I gotta go back down and then lock the coffin. This is the third time I've been down there. Well, she wanted me down there, right? She wanted me down there. She did message me. She did communicate to me on the, uh, mm, the radio saying, come downstairs, and I came downstairs. She brought this on herself. She's bringing this on herself. Is she, is she in there? I should probably do what the note said. I need to lock this thing. Lock it, bitch! Yeah! What are you gonna do? The silver key fell from the inside. It says V1. Okay. Well, that means I uh, gotta go. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I have to do this! You're a bitch! Uh, you both oh, stop chasing me! So I had to do it. I had to lock you in. Uh, oh, she's out. It's jammed. Okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. There's a note. I'm not asking you to speak to me, but I made something for you today. At first, I thought about going out and picking you the prettiest flowers I could find, but decided not to. Hmm. Flowers are beautiful, but eventually, they all die. Well, everything does. <clears throat> Instead, I made you an origami rose, you cheap fuck. Paper will never wither, just like my love for you. Aw, that's so sweet. Thank you. This rose is black because the love we once shared is gone. Doesn't that kind of contradict what you just said? It was lost in the darkness. Well, it's a black rose. Of course, it's going to be lost in the darkness. Hey, black rose. I got it. I'm using the old noodle. Um, Where was I? Lost in the darkness, and there's no ignoring that. Well, you, you could. You could just make another one. However, even if this rose love is no longer mutual, there's still one side that will never die. This rose is our symbol. That's so sweet. That's so sweet. Um, so I'm looking for a rose now, I guess. Let's, uh... Okay. It's in here. Oh, wait. Visitation room one. The fuck? 
This place does have a lockdown system. Okay, this is the keypad. Excuse you, what do you mean by that? Full system lockdown? What's this? Family room? This was... Doors warped badly. Yeah, yeah. Um... Visitation room one. Let's close this. It's just... No? Okay. You can stay open then. Uh, Myrtle's coffin. Yeah, yeah, I dealt with her. Dealt with that moaning whiner. What you? No? Well, I have a key to visitation room one. So it's gotta be around here somewhere? Oh, maybe it's one of the... the keys on the padlock. Uh, I mean, not the padlock, the, uh, these. These right here. Oh, a note. Visitation room. Ever, Ever since, since my oh, first okay. day working mm. here, I felt a little strange. Now, after what happened that day, things seem to be getting even stranger. I'd even go so far as to say creepy. Creepy? I've been an hmm. embalmer for years now, and I'm very passionate about my job. I've always felt comfortable with what I do, so it's pretty unusual that I feel this way. No. Two of my colleagues Not really. have died. I had to embalm them both. However, grief can't explain this feeling. Up until just four days ago, I hadn't even known about the history of this funeral home. I already knew that it was ridiculously old, but what I didn't know was that it allegedly harbors some kind of powerful aura allegedly. which trapped and torments the spirits of people who have died in a state of grief or fear and have at some point been associated with the building in one way or another. These associations apparently include those occurring post-mortem, such as embalmings and funerals. <sighs> Two of your colleagues die, and you still say, it's pretty unusual that I feel this way. Yeah, sure, buddy, sure. Oh, yeah. See that? I just unlocked the lock. And now... I still can't get in, so I don't... What? What the fuck was that? Did I miss something? Did I miss seeing something? Oh, that music. What's that for? Oh, hey! Oh, hmm, hmm, hmm. <clears throat> you think you, you think you could just scare me and walk away, buddy? He looked like he was dressed as a like in scrubs. And hey, this note was not here just a sec like a minute ago when I was here. Miss You're not going to speak this time. It's my turn. Okay. <clears throat> Mrs. Rains, please tell your son to stop playing under the tables during funeral services. It's disruptive and upsetting to the grieving families. Today, he also stole one of the keys to the visitation room and was later attempting to open one of the drawers <coughs> in the morgue. Sorry about that. This type of behavior is unacceptable and will not be tolerated. If you do not start controlling him, I will take it upon myself to personally teach him a lesson. Michael. That lesson is going to be trigonometry. It's going to fucking annoy the shit out of him. It's going to rack his brain left, right, center, fucking up, down, I don't know, every fucking where. Oh, this is open. Okay, well there's a note, but what else is there? Okay, I'm not looking at the note yet. Okay, drawer. All right, note time. To make things to make, even weirder, this make place a has fucking a serious mind. lockdown system. Yesterday was the first time I've ever seen it used, and many of the workers, including myself, were ordered to wait in the family room until the situation was taken care of. No one I've spoken to about it knows why it was done, or at least they won't say. 
All I know is that these safety glass windows and electronic gates appear to be designed for keeping things in rather than out. That's settling, isn't it? That's very settling. <clears throat> Sorry about this. Sorry. Next. That was the oh. first responder <clears throat> that day. It was the first and only person to make it to Myrtle's side before she passed away. She managed to give Sullivan a parting I love you on that baby monitor, but that was the last communication they ever had. The last thing she ever did was give me that piece of paper. That piece of paper? It was a short poem she had written for Sullivan earlier that day. She asked me to give it to him, and I promised her I would. Then she slipped away. I guess Sullivan had picked up by Myrtle's weak rasping in the baby monitor that something was happening to her. Because soon after she had passed, he came running into the hall from the upstairs arrangement room. But he was too late. She was gone. That's when he broke down. I'd never seen him show so much emotion towards Myrtle before. Then, of course, the rest happened. I'll keep my promise, even now. It's all I can do for my dear friends. That's all you can do for your dear friends, man. Just keep the promises. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Saving! Oh, there's... Sa game saved. Okay. Well, then... All right, with the game saved, um, I'm going to end it here. This has been part one of Black Rose. I'm not sure how many parts this is going to be, but I intend on seeing it through. Seeing through. Yeah, okay, you got it. Uh, yeah, so hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscription. I don't care which. You, you're free to do whatever you want, even if you don't want to do any of those. You're still a beautiful person. Mm -hmm. Love you. Uh, but yeah, so hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.